Expedition 67 Commander Oleg Artemiev and Flight Engineer Denise Matveyev, both of Roscosmos, will exit the station's space-facing POIS module. The primary objectives of the spacewalk are to relocate an exter external control panel for the arm for the European robotic arm from one operating area to another and test a rigidizing mechanism on the arm that will be used to facilitate the grasping of payloads. Artemia will wear a Russian Orland spacesuit with red stripes, while Matveyev will wear a Russian Orland spacesuit with blue stripes. This will be the eighth spacewalk for Artemiev and the fourth for Matveyev. Today's spacewalk will complete unfinished tasks from a spacewalk in August, which was cut short after Artemiev's spacesuit showed abnormal battery readings about two hours and 17 minutes into the spacewalk. If you're just joining us, good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston. You are currently seeing a live view outside of the International Space Station. Today's operations are is a Russian spacewalk, 54A where two cosmonauts exited the hatch at 8.25 a.m. Central Time, 13.25 GMT, and we are looking at a six hour and 18 minute spacewalk today. Expedition 67 Commander Oleg Artemiev and Flight Engineer Denise Matveyev, both of Roscosmos, exited the space-facing POISC module. The primary objective of the spacewalk is to relocate an external control panel for the arm, the ro European robotic arm, from one operating area to another and test a rigidizing mechanism on the arm that will be used to facilitate the grasping of payloads. Uh, EV2 has two cameras. Okay, let's check my suit. Okay, one we now have live views of the duo outside the POIS module. They're here gathering adapters and then they'll translate over to their work site of the MLM or the Multipurpose Laboratory Module, also known as NIOCA. Okay, it is on. Uh, can you help me turn on the lights? Of course. The crew is currently in the process of turning on their HECA or their helmet cameras. We'll see those views shortly. Okay, I am next to you. And the second one. Got it. Both are on. We currently have great views of that. the cosmonauts at the bottom of your screen as they translate to their work site. And we have a view of the European robotic arm Okay, Keep now going. Uh, let's activate the video. The first thing the cosmonauts will do will be to install a work platform on Nyoka. Please report your position. My handrails are 4006 and 4007, EV1. And uh, you are going each other. forward, right? Yes. Stand by. Hold on, hold on. I am at uh, plate 15. I can rehook you here. Okay, if you rested enough, let's turn off the camera. And translate further. Okay. 
So uh, I have executed two steps. We're currently seeing helmet cam views from Artemiev suit. <laughs> okay, it is deactivated now uh, and LED is not illuminated. Okay, go ahead and uh, <laughs> cover it. His task will be to remove the European robotic arm from hibernation mode and turn it off. Work. Okay, cover installed and um, now installing the outer uh, cover. One hour and 52 minutes into today's Russian EVA or Spacewalk 54A. The crew is currently reporting they are about 30 minutes ahead of the timeline. The duo is currently being seen outside the Nyoka module with the European robotic arm. They are currently installing a control panel that they removed from a different location and now are, are looking to work with Mission Control Moscow to get the control power the control panel powered on. Do you see those forest fires? Oh, that is impressive. Looks like it's the states. Yes, you're flying over the western coast of the U.S. Yes, we recognize it. Hard copy. Loud and clear. How us? Loud and clear. Please check if you see the coordinates on the panel. Yes, coordinates are visible. Thank you. In this case, move to BTL-3. Okay, should I close the panel? Negative, leave it as is. We will work with it later. Okay, BTL-3. Where is that? Okay, I get it. At Denise. Please position yourself near TRM indicator such that you can continue operating while we wait for inter internal commands to execute. Okay, Oleg, please check if... Uh, Alec, Dennis, now uh, 19 turns uh, clockwise um, in firm position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19. Okay, got. We, we got it in the window. And that is at the nine, not 19, at the 17.5. We had shoot LOS, please repeat. 
Now two hours and 17 minutes into the Russian spacewalk 54A. Two cosmonauts are outside the Nyoko module where they are currently using the European robotic arm one tool. No, Alec, uh, more instruction. We need one more turn, so please insert it again. Okay, now, now this paper flew away. The duo is working with Mission Control Moscow to configure the control panel for the European robotic arm. MLI uh, cover will need to be secured first. Done. Copy now, take it off. Okay. Alec, now, now secure the long uh, wire die to the eye bolt, the one on the left side. Uh, no, just pull it. The one that you're handing, the one next to it. So far this morning, the duo have installed work platforms on the Nyoka module. They have relocated European Robotic Arm external control panel. They have adjusted and tested the European Robotic Arm's ineffector grasp capability, and they are currently working to remove the launch restraints of one of the European Robotic Arm's ineffectors. Can you please repeat? So it's in the middle. Uh, it overshot the middle by about a quarter dial. Copy. I think we can stow error one, two. Okay. Stowing error one tool. Since you said so. Error tool is stowed. Copy. Okay, standing by for a couple of seconds. Uh, 
Okay, I see the indicator uh, crossed the middle, but it did not reach the expected position by, by, by about one fifth of a dial. Okay, copy. Denis, can you please photograph this config? And Oleg, we are still standing by. To the retina after the era. То есть новый блокиратор, него ручка, по-моему, должна. So uh, facing toward the trailer, uh, and if we are talking about the new retainer. If you're just joining us, we're four hours and 47 minutes into today's task, a Russian spacewalk, Russian spacewalk 54A. Expedition 67 Commander Oleg Artemyev and Flight Engineer Denis Matveyev, both of Roscosmos, exited the station face spacing poise module at 8.25 a.m. Central Time, 13.25 GMT. On, on FGB, we will... Artemyev is wearing the Orlin suit with the red stripes. Matveyev is wearing the Russian Orlin suit with blue stripes. Leave the bag on Today's spacewalk will complete unfinished tasks from a spacewalk in August, which was cut short because of Artemyev's suit showing abnormal battery readings about two hours and 17 minutes into that spacewalk. During the previous spacewalk, Artemyev and Matveyev completed the installation of a pair of cameras on the arm, that's the European robotic arm, and removed parts attached to the arm's end effector before the spacewalk ended. Items at the operator post. So far today, the duo has installed a work platform on the Nyoka module, relocated the European robotic arm external control panel. They have adjusted and tested the European robotic arm's ineffector grasp capability. 
and they are currently going back to a task that put in grapple. Uh, uh, excuse me, they are going back to a task to put in gap extenders. Alec, we're going to have Raticom for about six to seven minutes. Okay, we're moving to gap spanner. Leave crew back there. If you're just joining us, we are four hours and 55 minutes into today's Russian spacewalk 45A. You're currently seeing Oleg Artemyev Alek Artemyev and Denise Matveyev of Roscosmos. Artemyev is wearing the Orlin suit with the red stripes, while Denise Matveyev is wearing the Orlin suit with the blue stripes. They are currently tying down a bundle of launch restraints and MLI, or multi-layered insulation, that they retrieved earlier today. They're tying it down to the end of one of the Straya boom Australia booms. Okay, let's try this. Okay, this ring is secure. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're a little bit in the way. All right, let me grab the short one. So I can attach this one. Yes, right here, and I am moving away. I understand that you turned off the uh, pump some time ago. It has been 35 minutes. Um, and how are you doing? Well, okay, I just turned it on again. And uh, um, just turn it off again. So uh, make sure you don't get uh, too warm. Um, well, I kind of got heated up now, so it feels good. But make sure it's not too warm, because it will be uncomfortable for you to cool off. So we have not uh, bothered you, but uh, that's, it's been some time already. So, OK, I'm saving the battery. All your batteries, uh, both for both of you, are operating excellently. Okay then, then I can use the pump. We have a wide eye, and we've been uh, lacking some, so let's gather all the wide eyes we can. Sure.
the crew exited the hatch from the Poise module on the space face on the space facing side of the Poise module at 8:25 a.m. Central Time, 13:25 GMT. Oleg Artemyev is wearing a Russian Orlin spacesuit with the red stripes, while Denise Matveyev is wearing a Russian Orlin suit with the blue stripes. All primary objectives, including the relocation of an external control panel for the ex European robotic arm and the testing for the, mechani the mechanism on the arm's grasping end effector that will facilitate and move around payloads has been completed. Artemyev and Matveyev have been working about 50 minutes ahead of the scheduled timeline and moved on to get ahead task. Part of a solar array. It's, but, well, what is it? The primary get ahead task is the extension of the Straya boom to from from the Zarja from the Zarya module to the Poisk module. The crew is currently working and facilitating the movement of that boom. Seems to be going pretty well. I think it's clearing all the structure. Can you turn your camera on, maybe? So and keep it on. You can set it on your chest. Okay.
I think it cleared by 50 centimeters. You said 50? Yes, 50 centimeters is okay. All right. Alex, Denis, how are you copy? Loud and clear. I had to get in another headset because I thought the issue was my headset. Com was so bad. Did it work? Well, you heard me, right? When was it last time with we worked with Strela? Well, right now we are doing 54A, EVA 54A. And last time the Strela was operated was on EVA 45A, so reverse order of digits, about four years ago. I understand. It's just that uh, it it is tight for a while, and then it goes real easy. It is possible that some wires have frozen. Okay. Watch out with legs. Yes, I'm trying to get under this one. On your screen, you see a great view of the Strea boom as well as both cosmonauts. We see Oleg Artemiev in the Orland suit with the red stripe, and we see Denise Matveyev in the Orland suit with the blue stripes. Artemiev is cranking to move the Strea boom to the Poise module as we have Denise Matveyev at the end trying to do the connection. Is it extending? Yes. The duo moved about 50 minutes ahead of their planned schedule, which allowed for them to have time to get to the get ahead task. Shifting right again. After the completion of the extension to from the Strea boom to from Zarya to the Poise module, the duo will head back to grab that bundle of protective coverings and the launch restraint rings, and they're going to tie those down. After that, the crew will look to head back inside where we conclude today's EVA. Attach it to Strela handle. Which handle? Oh, on the last uh, link, yes. I copy. Okay. Alec, 
Now seven hours into today's spacewalk, Russian spacewalk 54A. We currently see Oleg Artemyev in that Orlin suit with the red stripes. He's currently securing that translation ring at the end of the end effector on the Straya Boom 2. Uh, towards the uh, solar array of the service module. No, it will be on my right. Okay, I'm looking at the solar array of SM. No, 180 degrees back. 180, the other one, yes. Now a little lower towards your feet. This way? Yes. Is there an object there? Yes. Uh, above solar array, there is an object. Can you see this? What What am I looking for? I don't understand the word you are saying. Uh, so there is a, at the at the end of the solar array. Uh, it looks like there is an object. Uh, uh, it's like a little square, right? Or is it antenna you are looking at? No, no, it looks like a free flyer. Okay, this, don't waste time. Uh, this is uh, this will be an attachment to the uh, restraint of the adapter to Strela. No, we already have this done. Okay, good. And uh, what about restraint itself? Yeah, that, that this is the one used to be done. So, Oleg, uh, basically one of the hooks is uh, uh, secured on the handle that's uh, at the grapple fixture. Yes, correct. And then the second one should go through the adapter handle and should be uh, then uh, installed or uh, secured on the uh, foot restraint bracket. Copy that. Okay, great. And that's uh, um, in work. Oleg, and then uh, please start translating towards the EV hatch. Uh, Denise, how is it going? Well, I'm moving towards the module now. So I switch to the circular handrail, and uh, basically uh, I just past the modules, and it's not that convenient.
If you're just joining us, we are seven hours and eight minutes into Russian Spacewalk 54A, where our Oleg Artemyev and Denise Matveyev have been outside the International Space Station completing upgrades for the European robotic arm, which include the relocation of a external control panel for the European robotic arm, moving it from one spot to the other, also testing a rigidizing mechanism on the arm that will be used to facilitate the grasping of payloads. Currently on your screen, you see Artemyev in the red stripes and you see actually Demnis Matveyev is a little bit out of view right now. He is wearing an Orland suit with a blue stripe. Currently, you see the securing of the translation ring at the end of the Estrella Boom 2 with the Artemyev and you should see an LFM ring or a launch fixture mechanism ring that that Denise Matveyev has and will stow at the end of the Estrella Boom 1. He will use wire ties to secure that to the Estrella Boom 1 before the crew heads back inside the Poise module. After closing up the hatch, that will end today's spacewalk. Uh, you can tie, tie it down later. Let's make sure that uh, it does not uh, float away uh, all the way to the hatchway. Uh, yes, a bit farther. Uh, so give me this one. Okay, here. I'm holding it. Okay, done. Uh, now uh, it's not uh, going to float away anywhere. It's just going to disintegrate at some point. And uh, we need to uh, secure it with uh, wire tie anyways, right? Inaudible. <laughs> 